Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Lasseter Middle School, home of the Lions in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, just an honor to be back. It's my third visit now to campus. And uh, in years past, you know, we focused on bullying, looking at someone's heart first, treating someone the same way that you want to um, see your best friend, right, for their heart before anything else. And today, wanted to take it up a level with all the grades six, seven, and eight here in the gym where the three assemblies were this morning. Um, and that was on respect the sub theme being that we are all miracles. And that's part of all of my assemblies, uh, the M on our palms with the lines on our hand. I trace one of mine here. But we all have with the lines on our hand, the letter M. Sometimes a faint line connects it uh, and have at least one in each hand. But this M stands, like I say, for miracle, like the front of my shirt, upside down, W is for worthy. And to really remind um, both students and adults, you know, of their worth, of their value, that there's a lot of opinions out there, not all of them matter. Uh, to remember that, you know, they see themselves for this and see this in others. That's what I was really trying to hammer home, right? That self-respect, but then being able to give that out as well. You know, this need for human kindness, knowing that that starts in our heart. And that if we are able to show that kindness, it may not just be to ourselves, uh, but if anybody's in earshot or eyesight of that kind action or that kind deed, uh, it might change their heart too in a positive way, right? And I love, you know, there's different... Uh, wall murals and paintings and sayings all across the school campus here, but this one that really just stuck out to me today, uh, right up on stage here in the gym, uh, it says every interaction matters. And you know, every act of kindness really does matter. And to know that we have that ability to uplift or to bring down through our actions um, in just a couple of seconds, you know, and hearing a lot of feedback from students that shared their heart with me after the programs today, it was really nice, you know, to know that they saw the spiral effect of just one act of kindness. You know, that's how we start to change this world, start to heal this world, is one act of kindness at a time. And for them to already know that they have this capability at a young age to make a lasting difference, to, you know, be that change, uh, that's very uh, inspiring for me, you know, and it brings me hope uh, that, you know, we have these young leaders in our midst. Uh, one student has said, you know, well, I show kindness to others, but sometimes they don't always show it back to me. And I said, well, that might happen uh, more often than not, unfortunately, uh, just because, you know, we aren't like dogs, which I also brought up in today's presentation, that we don't always show that unconditional love. We're constantly striving towards it, like those animals teach us, to love without any conditions, but it's not always easy, you know, and when you don't get that person that, you know, wants to be your friend back, or, you know, you don't get that respect that you give back, of course it's frustrating, right? But we can't always change someone. We can just keep showing that love, keep shining that light. But a lot of students did take that home. Uh, I took it to heart today. There was some pin drop moments, you know, through the different uh, heartfelt stories that I shared, some of the motivational videos, the positive music, you know, the stories that really tried to hit, hit them at the heart level. And uh, it's just always, again, uh, just refreshing for me uh, when I get to see uh, some of these students that, you know, have maybe have a, a lot going on in their lives, but know that they still have that choice to still choose compassion, to still include others, you know, to still rise above the hate that we rise by lifting others. Uh, that's, that's just awesome. And I hope that that continues. You know, hopefully a spark's been lit here and I love coming back again and again just to keep building on what we've already talked about, keep that momentum going. But again, you know, thank you for letting me get to share my heart and hopefully something did touch yours. As always, have a great rest of the school year. Hope to see you all again soon. Until then though, and as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button you see pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.